Hi guys, in this session you are going to learn about PROC frequency. Frequency is nothing but counting the observation in variables. To explain about PROC frequency, we take example from science help dot class. I named the data set demo, set science help dot class and run. We are running this code. Before opening data set, check log, log is clear, demo data set. Here we have a five variables name, sex, age, height and weight. Now we are applying frequency on one of these variables. And one more thing, before frequency, we must sorting the variables on which we want to apply in frequency. Proc sort data equals to demo by age. On age variable, I want to apply proc frequency. So before starting proc frequency, I am setting that variable. Log, log is clear. Now we are applying uh, Frequency. Proc frequency is used for counting proc frequency data equals to demo tables and which variable you want to counting the observation we should represent in the tables and run. Here we are applying frequency on age variable in demo data set before we have to sorting that variable. Now we are running this code. Here frequency and percent cumulative frequency cumulative percent are the default variables when we applying proc frequency and on age variable we are applying frequency and what does it mean here frequency frequency is nothing but counting on observations here on age variable we have a 2 11 ages and we have a 5 12 ages and we have a 3 13 ages we have a 4 14 ages like this and a percent age of that particular observation regarding to the variable and these are the percentage of that particular observation then cumulative frequency already you know the cumulative frequency here the first one is a 2 and a 5 plus 2 equals to 7 it represents then 7 plus 3 it represent 10 like this at the end we get number of observation in that particular variable and at the same time the cumulative percent cumulative percent is nothing but 10 plus 26 here is the 36 this is the first one and uh, 36 plus 15 uh, 52 like this uh, we are getting cumulative percent and these are the default variables when we applying prac frequency on a variable in a particular data set here we can apply prac frequency on two variables at a time then how it will be and uh, we know that before applying prac frequency we must sorting that variables here we are using the two variables so we have to sort the two variables separately and first proc sort data equals to demo by age and run and the proc sort data equals to demo by sex and run here we are applying proc frequency and two variables those are age and sex and i use more than one variable in a table statement proc frequency data equals to demo tables age into sex and run here we are applying two variables simply we are getting output here and here we are getting on 11 age one is a female one is a male and 12 age two are the females and three are the males and here first one is a frequency is nothing but this first one is a frequency percentage this first one is a percentage row percentage this is the row percentage column percentage this is the column percentage like that uh, we are getting each and every observation on age variable simply we are getting the countings of age at that particular sex variable now here we are getting some default uh, variable here those are percentage frequency row percentage column percentage like this now if you want to remove or restrict that particular variable in the output also then how it will be here proc frequency data equals to demo tables age and sex slash no call it means in the output i don't want the column percentage and run we are running this code here there is no column percentage here before we are getting column percentage here now we are remove that call percent 
a simply by no call like that we can remove another default variable from that output and proc frequency dot equals to demo tables age into sex slash no row it means there is a no percentage when we are playing on this table now there is a no row row percentage and the next one we can remove another one also that is the tables age sex and no percentage run now we are running this code it means we don't need a percentage variable in the output now there is a no row percentage in this output and we can apply a uh, more than one removable variable at a time also then how it will be at equals to demo tables a into sex slash by no call space no row space no percentage and run like this uh, we can remove the default variables from the output here we are getting only frequency and one more note here we can't able to remove the frequency in the next one we can list the observation and uh, then what does it mean then how it will be and uh, prof frequency that equals to demo tables age into sex slash list simply before we are getting the output like this uh, like the cross table and uh, now we are getting like a list when we are playing list we are getting this like a list simply and 11 we are getting females 1 and 11 males are 1 and uh, 12 females are 2 and the uh, 12 males are 3 like this we get the output as a uh, list when we are playing list in the tables and the next one we can filter the data prop frequency that equals to demo tables age and sex where sex equals to m and run simply on the frequency we can filter that particular males data from the output here we are not getting any females why because we are filter that particular data and the next one to convert output into data set simply we can convert that output window into like a data set then how it will be for frequency data equals to demo no print here no print means we don't need to print that result in the output window and the tables age into sex slash out equals to demo to run here simply by using out equals to we can convert that output into data set before opening data set check log log is clear now we are opening demo to like this we can convert that particular output into data set simply by using we can give label and a title at a time in the prop frequency then how it will be for frequency dot equals to demo tables a and sex and out demo 3 label on uh, sex variable i applying label that is the gender of the student and the title is information about student and here the label of sex variable is gender of the student and the title is information about students like this uh, we can give the title and label of the data set also please subscribe my channel click the bell icon like the video and comment below share with your friends thank you for me